What's up, guys? Hope you all are doing really well. I just wanted to drop in and share this with you. Um, so on my Facebook page this morning, I made a status um, because of what I heard this morning while trying to get, well, not trying to get dressed, while getting dressed and preparing myself to start this day, this beautiful Tuesday, um, a day where I was determined to be productive and progressive. Um, but I said some things to myself in the shower. But one of the things that I said for sure that I want you guys to hear um, is that I told God and I told the atmosphere around me and I told every moving thing or every still thing around me that before the end of this week, I'll see whatever my it is. And I want to put that before you all as well. Sometimes we forget the power that really does rest on the inside of us, the power that actually can move mountains, the power that can actually bring money into our hands, the power that can uh, call forth and get an idea that can transform the rest of our life for the rest of our life. But it all starts with what you say over yourself. So I want to encourage you guys, hey, you can join in with that one or whatever your personal declaration that needs to be. Or if you've had declarations before in the past that you've chosen to put down or life's been so busy and you haven't had the moment to pick them back up and recite those things, put those things a part of your daily routine. I promise you, words really do shape your reality. And a lot of times, um, some of the things that we have not seen, experienced, or really just kind of had added to our lives are because we forgot to, not forgot, we just stop speaking them. Um, the Bible tells us to speak those things that be not as though they were. And sometimes that is just the reality of what you have to do. Actually, majority of the time uh, is what you have to do because really your words are, are the, the doorway and the kickstart for your faith. A lot of the things that we're not seeing are not um, out, without, out of our grasp or they're not out of our um, ability to attain them. It's just that our faith isn't going before us and bringing those things closer to us. So I encourage you guys to do that. If nothing else, declare some things over yourself, your family, your kids, your business, your boss, uh, uh, your friends, uh, whoever, your college, wherever you are, your church, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, begin to uh, uh, restart and rebegin to put those declarations back into motion. I promise you, God is going to answer some things. I believe this, not just for myself, but for just for everybody who's probably watching this, that this will be a, a summer to remember, like a super summer to be in so many words, where God's gonna do some things, but I do know firsthand that it's gonna take that part on our end, which is just our faith. Um, we know that without faith, it's impossible to please God. And, you know, you please him. I think that if, you, if we please him, he'll please us. Sounds like the river of blessings flowing to me. So I just want to encourage you guys with that. If nothing else, declare some things over the rest of your day. Declare some things over the rest of your week and over your month and over the rest of your year. And allow God to do it and allow yourself to put your faith out there and let it come to pass. My declaration today was that before the end of the week, I'm going to see it. And I got enough faith to believe it may not happen at the end of the week. It might happen today. So remember that, guys. I love you all. Declare some things and let some things happen for you.